All right, so I've got my uh, Kylo Ren uh, Rise of Skywalker helmet from GEC Props. I've been uh, I had installed uh, NeoPixels with a Profi board, and I've uh, been doing a lot of playing with it. So uh, I finally put a library together uh, for anyone who's going down this route. So I've got a bunch of styles. I'll probably come up with more. Um, some are leaning towards trying to get canon, trying to match the film, going from memory, obviously, because we don't have the uh, home release yet. Um, and some are just fun. Um, so if you go this route, and obviously how you wire up the NeoPixels in terms of in series and parallel, the direction you put them, uh, will majorly affect the end result. Um, so my build, I actually have uh, three blades set up, uh, right hemisphere, left hemisphere, and then the mouth is actually its own blade. Um, so some of how the effects run will be dependent upon that as well. Um, but just wanted to show them. So this is just the static one. This is uh, set up to run... Uh, as close as I can get to the color from the film uh, and for the reference materials. Now, one of the things that I've found is the light around you as well as the camera makes a big difference. So this is a webcam uh, that I'm recording on. It does oversaturate the light a little bit, particularly certain angles. So what it looks like in person is slightly different, but it's a good point of reference. So this is the, uh, the just static and this this one actually has brightness control, so I've got different levels of brightness. Um, if you look in the library, you'll see uh, I can increase the brightness by about 10%. So you can see how that looks. Um, and then I've got several other styles, so they'll all be in the library. So this is another style. So this style I'm calling Rolling Pulse. And in the film, certain scenes, there's um, almost like a pulse. It's a very subtle pulse. And then there's also a lot of screenshots and stuff where portions of the cracks are brighter than others. So I kind of took that, went a little bit from memory, played around with it. Um, but this one, it's got a pulse that slides through the different cracks. Um, so you'll see it. And it kind of traces along. And it rolls through all the different area so it's it's a little bit of a pulse it's not very uh, it's a little subtle because again going from memory in the film but it gives that kind of effect where it's moving along the cracks so you'll see it there now in the mouth in particular because of the resin thinner you're going to see the pixels more particularly on camera they're not quite as pronounced in person uh, also different angles um, so this camera is oversaturating but that's kind of the effect there And then there's just this side. So that's the rolling pulse style, which is up on that library. I'll have a link for that library available. And then now this this is a, a pulse with a tracer. And what a tracer just means I've got a bright spot that moves through, um, which you can kind of see. So this has a subtle pulse to it, but then in addition to that pulse, there's bright spots that move along the veins, and they kind of trace out. Again, going a little bit from memory, but there were certain parts where it seemed like portions of the crack were brighter than others. Uh, it could have been the angle, um, but to, since I can do it with NeoPixels, I decided to try to mimic it. So this has a very subtle pulse, and then you'll see that kind of bright portion moving through different areas. So this is the uh, pulse with the tracer. And again, you get that pixelation picks up more on camera than in person. And it also has to do with the lighting. And then this is just a tracer, so it stays a static color. It does not pulse, but there is a tracer that moves through all the veins that you'll see, which again, it's a small bright spot that's meant to move along the veins. Um, and it kind of moves through different veins at different times. So this one's moving a little bit less from the film and more towards just kind of a cool looking style.
So you can see how that traces through. And it just moves at different intervals along the different veins. This is unstable. So this is actually the unstable effect I run on my uh, saber. Um, doesn't look quite the same on the helmet, but I figured people would want to see it, so I put it in. Obviously not what we see in the film, um, but you can see it's actually the uh, it's actually the exact same effect on the saber, minus all the other stuff in terms of uh, blast and clash and lockup. So just kind of a different look if you wanted it. And then lastly, this is a fire style. So it's actually just a straightforward flame. Um, so it is brighter than the other styles. Um, I found dimming the the colors in the flame almost kind of muted it out to where you couldn't see it. So again, this is not what we see in the film, so it's not meant to be canon, so it's just kind of a fun style. Um, but it has kind of a, the flame flickering effect going through it. Um, it's actually more prominent in person, again, because of that sat oversaturation by this camera. Um, but you can kind of see it. But it is actually looks more flame-like, I guess, in person. Almost like a, you know, if you had a flickering of a flame. So, just some styles. Um, anybody who decides to go with the Profi Board NeoPixel on the helmet and wanted to grab a couple of them, there is now a library. Um, so go ahead, and uh, I'm sure I'll be playing around with more stuff, but hope you enjoy.